being a good night hunter is using the right tool in the right place. It's not only about fancy combos and strats. There are strategic rules that can help you win more games. Firstly, you don't have to engage humans all the time and everywhere. You should also wait for your spits to load. By default, Hunter has advantage in areas with limited space and many obstacles, while humans are favored in open field. This is because in here they get stuck and can't dodge your spits, ground pounds, and may not expect certain tackles. That's it for the theory. What you need to do is practicing your movement speed. Hold tendril until you touch the ground to run quicker, while sprinting all the time. Remember, you can change your fly direction mid-air after jumping. The more you zigzag, the harder it is to track you with a UV light. Next up is your most important tool, spits. To hit them reliably, make use of free strats. Old school spit snipe from distance, which you can combine with a tackle to keep the human in range, or a pounce. They will do the same. In general, sticking the spit to a human is probably the most difficult strat, as you have to predict your opponent's movement. Next we have tackle spit. It can, but doesn't have to be charged. And of course, the infamous GP spit. To make the last two easier, I recommend you don't level up knockback abilities for tackle and ground pound. Also, it's useful to GP without glowing. Before holding left mouse button, either hole, spit, or UV block. Two of which you don't even need to have loaded. This way you can ground pound straight out of sprint. Another good combo can be a follow up to a hit tackle. Take a look at these examples. Do it like this. Aim in the front of a human and hold both mouse buttons. Start with the left one. After your GP is charged, release both buttons. Ground pounds can also be charged inside different animations, for example tackles. Be careful however, smart players will trick you into using those. That instant GP is very useful in cramped spots. Especially when combining it with two other facts. GP gives you short UV resistance and crouching or standing still increases your energy regeneration. By the way, you might have already noticed how the claw animation is being cancelled by Tendril. To rapid claw, claw and Tendril by turns. Now a big one, tackles. The highest damage dealing attack after pounce, that if hit, often gives you the initiative as well. There are two special techniques that come in very handy. First one, air tackles. Do you notice how my legs disappear? The screen is wobbly? That's the indicator you can perform an air tackle. The first way to do it, you need to jump while entering onto an obstacle, then add shift and E. However, if Hunter accelerates, he will automatically jump over these, so you can't just run on anything and hope for the best. Make sure to land next to an obstacle with the right height. Now, very important if you have sprint toggle on. After an interrupted pounce or evaded tackle, wait for that little sprinting animation to end by standing still or tapping shift before you start moving. Otherwise, your hunter will jump over the obstacle. Another way to wear tackle is tendril sprinting and stumbling against an obstacle with hunter's feet. I advise you to go straight to the PV lobby to practice and get a feel for it yourself. Air tackles are extremely hard to evade. Using the grappling hook is the only reliable way to do it. So, basically air tackles are useful every time humans are near a barrier or anything with the right height. The second special technique is the instant tackle. It's not useless, as some of you might think. But, first things first, 
the general rule for Insta. It can be used in three situations, after hitting a tackle in any direction, after having your tackle evaded, but only in the front, and after being drop kicked, also in the front. Remember, for it to work, you need to be touching the ground. Just keep holding E and look at the target. Well, that's the simplest way. For a faster instant tackle, try something just a bit more complicated. While holding E all the time, turn on another human, tap W. If you are trying to hit the same target consecutively, wait for the end of this recovery animation and then tap W. The biggest advantage of this method is the speed. Now, what's good about the slow insta is the animation itself. For its duration, you get 75% damage reduction and invulnerability to drop kicks in the face. You can sell the animus over when Hunter's hands go up. Even if you didn't tackle from it, just jump away. Outside from that, let's talk about some general types of tackles that you might want to apply to your gameplay. These are clip tackles, basically through a wall or a van. Some sort of fake air tackles. These prevent the FAs. Ones from a ledge. To perform them, you need to move towards a wall with A or D. Spiral tackles, best for stationary targets. And flick tackles. Probably the best way to add a tackle in open terrain. Change the direction when you're close to a human. Now, all of this comes down to how you want to play the game. As always, try out new things and be creative with your playstyle to surprise your opponents. Remember, the right tool at the right time or place. Have fun. Peace.